Hello, hello, hello. We have five more days until our challenge starts. And yes, I know it is afternoon and I know I have a cup of coffee in my hand, but you guys, it's cold and windy today. Y'all know I can't handle the cold very well. Um, I moved away, I moved to the south for a reason. And yeah, so uh, warm thing in hand. And we're gonna talk a little bit about next week's challenge. One of the questions I got um, over the last couple of days is why did I choose restorative yoga? So I wanted to explain that a little bit to you. So our focus is on mindset, it's on emotional health, it's about really truly resetting the neutral balance within your body, not just from a dietary or a fitness perspective, which is usually the avenue a lot of people go to in January, right? Well, we wanted to take a different twist on it and we are focusing on healing your body from the inside out, but starting with the part that makes the most sense. And that is your mind. That is stress management. That is mindset. It's emotions. If you can't get that straight, you can lose all the weight you want. You can heal all the things that you want, but it's all going to come back to where you started. So you're basically going to sit on this hamster wheel. Heal, not, heal, not, heal, sick, heal, sick, heal, sick, and you never get off. You really have to get down to the core root of what is happening. And that could be emotional, it could be mindset, it could be a lot of things. You know, it could just be stress. Chronic stress over time leads to so many illnesses that many of us are struggling with today. And we don't need to struggle with them, but we are. It's, it's the way of the world and we have the ability to take charge and we have the ability to change it. So for us, the beginning of the year was all about giving you tools that you can use in your fitness, in your diet, in your everyday world to help you. And restorative yoga is a part of that. So the reason I chose restorative yoga, there's, there's a couple of different varieties. You've heard them all, right? The basic premise between, but about yoga is you have the yin and you have the yang, right? Two sides, same coin, the yin and the yang. It's all, you all know, I talk traditional Chinese medicine. I talk herbs a lot. I talk about the ancient traditions um, and the healing practices of many of the cultures around the world, the ancient cultures, and the yin and the yang is a piece of that. Okay, you have yin yoga, which is very um, more healing. It's designed for a restorative aspect and to use interspersed meditation within your yoga practice. Okay, and your yang is pretty much everything else that's out there. Um, yes, I know there's a much deeper explanation for that, so please don't come at me for that one. But what we're focusing on for this challenge is the healing aspects, the restorative, the more meditative. And with yin yoga, you're holding your poses about two to five minutes. There's not a lot of bolstering. There's not a lot of supporting of the body as you're holding positions. And with restorative yoga, everything is supported. Have you seen the pictures? If you haven't done restorative yoga, have you seen the pictures on Google and around where you're in child pose, but you're laying on a pillow? That's called a bolster. I don't actually have a bolster. I use my couch cushions just because they're the exact same size that I need. They're the exact same support. And that's really what you're going for. If you're joining us for the challenge and you don't have a yoga block, if you don't have a pillow, if you don't have a yoga circle, you can use things around your house. Just talk to us, let's chat, and we'll figure out what's gonna be the best tools for you to use during your restorative yoga sessions. Um, these are only going to be about half an hour and with restorative yoga, you're holding your positions for about five minutes, sometimes 10, depending on the class that you're taking. Um, yin yoga, like I said, it's a two to five minute hold. You really don't necessarily have those bolstering tools unless you absolutely need them. And with restorative, it's more about breath, breathing, meditation, getting into a grounded state without the stress and strain of holding positions. Your focus is on getting that breathing grounded, on getting yourself centered and getting yourself grounded. 
the herbal to sands are designed for the same thing. We are in a season in winter where we need to combat dampness and we need to combat cold. Okay, there are herbs that can do that. A golden milk preparation, for instance, is ideal. You have your turmeric, which is a heating element. You, you have cinnamon, again, heating, clove, nutmeg, ginger. All of these things are heating. Ginger actually will help combat dampness too. It's more of a drying herb. Soothes, soothes your stomach, but it can dry the elements to help your body really feel in balance with nature. Okay, so when we're looking at next week, and the reason I'm including three herbal to sands every single day is we're looking at combating winter. If we're going to get down to this grounding point, we're going to reset, we're going to get ourselves into center, we have to look at the season that we're in. And right now we're in winter. So winter means dampness and cold. So the herbal to sands that are listed within the challenge guide, which the um, the playbook is what I've called it, is inside of the community. So as all week I have been doing, I will put the link inside of the comments. Hi, Jen. And um, you guys can click in there. The challenge document is in there. It's called the playbook. It's the very first thing that you see when you hop into the event space within our community. The community is free. The challenge is free. It is five days of health. There are some dietary things within there. Of course, there is a meal guide, which is basically a seven day plan. It's not just five days, it's seven days. When you buy the groceries, you, you end up with seven days anyway. So you get the seven day meal plan because I am all about not wasting food. <laughs> groceries are way too expensive as they are. So let's just make the most of it. All right with your herbal to sands. Those are things I've listed a couple of options that you can actually just go to your local grocery store and pick up. There's one in particular that I'm really hoping you guys find. It's called a Puka, P-U-K-K-A, -K -K not P-U-K-A, P-U-K-K-A. -K -K -A. It's warming spices. It is, oh, it tastes phenomenal. Add in a lo little bit of warm coconut milk to it, and it's not it's not a golden milk because it does not have turmeric in it. If you want, you can add it to it. Um, but oh, you guys, it is delicious, and it is just like you sit. And I ran out of it otherwise, and I, I seriously, I have so many teas in my tea section. I have an entire cabinet for teas and herbs, and it's not in there. So I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to find it local because it's one of my favorites. Um, and you can literally just sit and sniff. In the olfactory system, the thing with essential herbs, the thing with you know, herbal medicine in general is it's full faceted. It's not just about the taste and the flavor. It's not just about consumption. It's about the aroma. It's about the touch and the absorption within your skin, okay? Your eyes, your mouth, your nose, your touch, all senses. That's the joy of herbal medicine, all senses. And coming to a restorative yoga class, like what we're providing next week, you're gonna get those. Now I can't send you, <laughs> I can't send you the the scent. That would be really cool, but I can't do that. We don't, we don't have that technology yet. Um, but if you would like to know what I'm using in each one of our classes and our sessions, just let me know and, and I'll make sure to list that inside of the event space as well. Um, for now, I haven't really decided. I usually decide that last minute. It's based on my mood and what's going to help me relax and, and just get into that grounding centered state. So that might be a last minute decision, but if you would like to know what my choices are, I'm happy to share that. Um, with the herbal to sins, when you're drinking those, I highly recommend drinking those after the restorative yoga class, not before. While it is beneficial, you really just want your body focusing on the relaxation and the stress management aspects of the restorative yoga class. You don't wanna be worried about this tea that you just drank that your, your belly is holding on to and attempting to digest as you are attempting to relax because that's just not gonna happen. Um, when you drink it just before bedtime, you have some time for it to just slowly 
digest and you're relaxed, but when you're actually going into various poses, especially something like a child's pose or, you know, reverse table, you don't want your stomach to be digesting anything. You want it to be as, as empty as it can be. About an hour after dinner is perfect. Um, so hopefully you will join us next week. If you have any other questions, let me know. Get your bottles ready because I do expect at least 80 ounces of water every day. Um, and your herbal teas, they don't count. Those are on top of your 80 ounces of water. So the playbook is inside the event space. Snag it, get yourself ready so that come Monday, you've got everything lined up and you are ready to roll with this five day challenge. I will see you guys soon and I hope to see you over in the events. Bye guys.